Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Hell ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you guys are doing good today. So if you guys remember the other day I did a video about Tierra Marie and her whole sex tape leaking out and supposedly she didn't know who it was, she didn't know if it was gonna be her ex-boyfriend or if it was her current boyfriend Akbar. Well now more information has come out. So earlier today in LA, Tierra Marie and everybody's favorite ambulance chaser honey, Lisa Bloom, decided to hold a press conference and in that press conference, Tierra Marie stated that it was her ex-boyfriend Akbar who leaked out her porn tape, who leaked out those freaky pictures, and now she's going to be suing him and 50 Cent, because as we all know, 50 Cent is messy as hell. He's always involved in some fuckery that has nothing to do with him, and he reposted those pictures to his men's of followers, and then when Instagram deleted those pictures, he then got mad and went off and said he was leaving Instagram. So now Tara Marie is also naming him in the lawsuit as well. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, revenge porn is a big and growing problem, especially because of social media. And now that reality TV star says it's happened to her, and she's blaming an ex-boyfriend. She may be used to the cameras and the lights, but for reality star Tierra Marie, this is too real. She's accusing an ex-boyfriend of revenge porn. Last week, I found out that my boyfriend was cheating on me. So I broke up with him. Right after that, he posted a sex tape and an obscene photo of me. Marie says the images were posted on Instagram and other sites. She's represented by attorney Lisa Bloom, who's filing suit, not just against her ex-boyfriend, Akbar Abdul Ahad, but also hip-hop star 50 Cent. Bloom claims he also shared the X-rated images to millions of his followers. We will be seeking a significant punitive damages award against him to drive that lesson home, since he seems to have so much trouble understanding what the law is. In addition to the news cameras, a VH1 crew was also on hand for the press conference. Bloom insists the reality show has nothing to do with her case. It's, it's not part of the show in the sense that this is a press conference here in my office. If somebody wants to come and film it and put it on their show, just like they want to put it on your news show, uh, they're welcome to do that. In addition to civil suits, Marie is also planning on filing a police report. Revenge porn is a crime in California. Now, on his Instagram account, Abdul says he's not responsible for posting that sex tape. Meanwhile, we've also reached out to 50 Cent's attorneys. So far, we have not heard back. Honey, this entire situation has gotten even messy, okay? But I'm here for it, bitch. So I was waiting to see what 50 Cent was going to say about this once it went viral. And of course, in true 50 Cent fashion, he's taking everything as a joke. He took the Instagram, the same site that he claimed that he quit a week ago, to go back on there and basically clown Tierra Marie and clown Lisa Bloom. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what 50 Cent posted on Instagram. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So this is my thought in the entire situation. One, why was the tape made in the first place? Like I keep telling y'all stop making these damn freaky deaky sex tapes with people. I don't care if it is your husband. If you have some type of celebrity status, don't do it because you never know what might happen when y'all break up, okay? So one, she shouldn't have made the sex tape. But with that being said, I'm also curious as to why her boyfriend has her password to her Instagram. That makes no sense whatsoever. You don't give anybody your password to your social media, okay? You can't trust nobody out here 100%. So she was definitely a fool for doing that. But with that being said, I do not feel bad for 50 Cent at all. If you guys remember a few years back, I did the whole video concerning the whole drama of 50 Cent being sued by Rick Ross's baby's mother, and he was sued for millions of dollars, and she ended up winning. It's obvious that 50 Cent did not learn anything from the lawsuit that he got from Lavanya Livingston. I think that was her name, Lavanya. She was Rick Ross's baby's mother. So now he's going to be sued again, and I honestly don't feel bad for him because this had nothing to do with him, okay? He should have let that just be on Akbar because 50 Cent is Oz involved in some fuckery. This is what happens. In the words of Big Monique, y'all go ahead and check this out. See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. 
So yes, like Big Monique said, okay? When you do clownery, sometimes the clown comes back to bite, okay? And that's exactly what happened to 50 Cent. He's literally getting bit in the ass right now by Tierra Marie and the damn ambulance chaser, Lisa Bloom. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey. But like I told y'all before, I'm definitely here for it, bitch, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Tierra Marie hooking up with everybody's favorite ambulance chaser, honey, and suing not only Akbar, but 50 Cent. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.